Welcome to the LEAP production counter and downtime sensor video demonstration. In the next few minutes, we'll explore this powerful sensor, its features, its setup, and a live demonstration. Whether you're a new user or looking to enhance your manufacturing efficiency, this sensor has you covered. The LEAP wireless sensor is a game changer in manufacturing. It provides real-time data sets, tracking production and downtime for improved efficiency, but our system goes beyond mere counting. It separates runtime from downtime, counts stops, calculates rates, and even provides overall equipment effectiveness, or OEE. Timestamp values are updated with each transmission, giving you a comprehensive overview. The LEAP production counter has three big advantages. It's easy to implement. Second, it gives great data that's very granular and gives you lots and lots of information. And third, it's very affordable. Now let's dive into the production count system. It's a simple, easy to implement solution for counting products on your production lines. In just minutes, you can have the system up and running. The basic components include a counting node connected to a sensor set up to detect products passing by and a gateway that wirelessly collects and stores data for review. In addition to counting products, our production counters separate runtime from downtime, count stops, and calculate rates overall and during runtime, including OEE at your convenience. Timestamp values are updated with each data transmission. You can download a history of your production data and use it to build custom reports, set alerts for downtime or other parameters, or even monitor live data as it changes. As we dive into operating the wireless sensor system, let's start with the power. The production sensor node relies on brake beam sensors and is not battery powered. Power is supplied using the wall transformer that plugs in to the sensor node. On top of the enclosure, there's a little silver button that will zero out the count when it's pressed. We offer various sensor options depending on your product and environment. Choose from a photo eye with a reflector, like this, a diffused photo eye, like this, or a proximity sensor to sense your products. While simpler eyes are usually easier to get working, we also provide configuration settings for fine-tuning the sensitivity of your eyes, especially for challenging products. Now, let's see the LEAP production counter and downtime sensor in action. Let's look at a typical setup of the production counter and downtime system. So here we have our node, here we have the sensor eye, and here we have a reflector. So this is a, ref a sensor with reflector setup. We're going to use this to simulate a product coming through the conveyor, breaking the photo eye. So as the product goes by, our node detects and counts each product going by and starts calculating uptime. The sensor also recognizes that we're now up and running. So our currently up turns to one on our screen. Once we stop, the system will determine that the line has gone down and we'll see that we're now down on our, on our screen and we start collecting downtime. And it'll collect downtime for the whole time until we start running again. We also see our uptime for this last run, the final calculation is in. When production starts again, we'll see the system transition to runtime, starts calculating runtime, gets our final downtime from our last event, and now we're up and running. Once we get a stop, we start collecting downtime again, we get our final uptime, and our stop count goes up by one. You may have wondered, how does the sensor know when is downtime or when does downtime start? Well, there's a setting that we can configure. In this case, we've set the downtime threshold to be 10 seconds. So after 
the eye has not seen a product for 10 seconds, the sensor knows to start calculating downtime. Downtime ends when a new product goes by. You may have noticed that the count didn't change until the line stopped. That's because the counter only transmits in three different situations. One, every 10 minutes, two, every start of the line, and three, every stop of the line. Each of those parameters can be adjusted in the configuration screen. Let's review the data that the counter collects. Inside the counter node, there is a logic controller that detects 10 different types of data from the eye as it goes by. First off, it collects the count. It also collects an uptime rate and an overall rate. It collects downtime and uptime. It detects whether the line is up or down, how many stops the line has had, and then the OEE. There are a few ways you can go back and look at older data. First, on the web browser, you can look at the history tab and scroll through old data and see timestamp entries for all the 10 different data points. You also can select your sensor, go to device readings, download the readings, and download data. So let's just pick the data for today. And download this data. This data will now be downloaded into, da into Excel where we can analyze the data in more detail. Once the download is complete, we can view the data in Microsoft Excel. Here's an example of the download that we just did. You can see all the data points, the, uh, the timestamps for when the readings were taken, when the transmissions were received, and each of the 10 different columns of data. Because the data is a little complicated, I've put together this slide to help you see how you can detect different events in the data and then eventually build up reports like this one by doing formulas on the data that's in the spreadsheet. For more information and to explore our full line of industrial sensors, visit our Phase 4 website. Feel free to contact us for expert advice on your wireless sensing needs. Thank you for watching our video.